I'm Sally Holmes. And I'm Rose Davy. And we've been working on six projects for the Design Bugs Out programme. Sally and I spent about three weeks touring around different hospitals around the country, talking to nurses, trying to identify why um, healthcare staff thought that infections were a problem. And then once we had the briefs, uh, we were able to visit a number of London-based hospitals to see these products in action in those hospitals and talk to staff there about why they were experiencing problems, how the designs could be improved. There was an expert reference group attached to the project who were kind of the country's leading microbiologists, nursing practitioners, and they were able to give us some steer on, you know, when we came to crossroads of should we follow this design solution or this other design solution, they were able to say, well, actually, from a nursing point of view, this is the, the most appropriate one. And also we spoke to some manufacturers and we've actually collaborated with some manufacturers on some of the projects. A conventional mattress basically consists of a foam core with a waterproof cover on top. The waterproof cover may become degraded over time, it may be pierced through syringe needles, etc. And there's a chance of cross-infection between patients as new patients move through that bed space. Um, what our solution does is it indicates when any fluids have passed through the mattress cover by changing colour around that site. So it reacts to any fluids going through. And then when the nurses come to change the sheets or come to wipe the mattress clean, there's an immediate visual indicator telling them that the mattress has been compromised. Currently, the blood pressure cuff is a vital piece of equipment that is used on the wards. It's got a big patch of Velcro on, which obviously attracts bugs. It can't be wiped down. And also the material that's being used is it's not really a wipeable fabric. It's not a very plasticky surface. We've simply removed the Velcro. Uh, we've actually used magnets inside. We've also used a more wipeable material. It looks as though it should be wiped clean. It dries quite quickly. So it's much easier for the nurses to clean on the ward rounds in between every patient. The pulse oximeter that seems to be most commonly used in hospitals, it's got a lot of nooks and crannies. It's got a mechanical hinge, which means that you can't kind of have a smooth enclosed surface. So what we've done is we've used a one-shot moulding which creates a smooth, wipe cleanable surface which the nurses can wipe clean, you know, in between patients. The cannulas are supposed to be in place for up to three days, that's kind of general protocol. But it's very difficult to monitor this. This is monitored in the, in the doctor's and the patient's notes. We've used a technology which is called time strip. It will time a period of three days so this is activated when the cannula is inserted and the nurse can immediately see at the point of insertion how long that cannula has now been in. There's a common hand touch site there which isn't actually a cleanable surface. So what we wanted to do was create a handle that attaches very simply to any existing curtains and then this can be wiped clean every day um, by the nursing staff or the cleaning staff. Ideally, every patient would have their own wash basin in their own bed space, but in practice this is just not feasible in hospitals. Um, so we wanted to design, design something which was specifically for patients, so patients can clean themselves when they want, before they eat, after they go to the toilet, without having to rely on nursing staff to give them something to clean themselves. So we designed a patient pack which is specifically for the patients kind of empowers the patients. Patients can put it wherever they want in their bed space, on their bedside table, on the side of their bed. They can use it when they need to. We found that a lot of designs had lots of nooks and crannies, so it was about creating these smooth surfaces and no little crevices. Everything can be wiped clean. In some instances, um, we were looking at new technologies in order to kind of facilitate what we were trying to achieve. So for example, with the time strip technology and adding that to the cannulas. With the mattress, we're using quite a cutting edge technology. We we're trying to use a hydrochromic ink and then because we were laminating another layer on top of it with one of the inks, this lamination actually reacted. So there was quite a lot of trial and error there. For the blood pressure cuff, um, 
We worked our way through a number of different vinyls and PVCs to try to find the correct one that would work with our magnets and the new attachment mechanism that we were working on. It's been rather challenging, you know, producing six projects in six months, but I feel like we've done a good job and, well, I hope the public think that we've done a good job and, you know, working with the Design Council has been really great. They've been, you know, on hand at all stages to provide the help that we needed, really.